In the world of gaming, few titles have experienced a roller coaster ride that Cyberpunk 2077 has. From big expectations to a rocky release, the highly anticipated game fell short of its own initial promise. However, in an unexpected turn of the events, Cyberpunk has risen from the ashes and is now on its way to redemption. In this video, we explore the amazing journey of Cyberpunk and how it's making a roaring comeback. After its release in December 2020, Cyberpunk faced severe backlash from the players and critics alike. The game was plagued with numerous bugs, performance issues and unfulfilled promises. It left players feeling disillusioned and disappointed, tarnishing the reputation of CD Projekt Red, the renowned game developer behind the project. But they didn't shy away from taking responsibility for their mistakes. They issued public apologies and acknowledged the shortcomings of the game. The studio's transparent approach in admitting their faults and promising to do better was the first step towards redemption. They also offered refunds to the dissatisfied customers, displaying an unwavering commitment to making things right. To address the game's technical issues, they swiftly released a series of patches and updates. These updates aim to fix bugs, improve performance and enhance overall gameplay experience. CD Projekt Red established open lines of communication, listening to feedback and responding to concerns. This interactive approach not only helped them address the issues effectively, but also showed their dedication to delivering a game that met players' expectations. To rebuild the trust, CD Projekt Red laid out a clear roadmap showcasing their commitment to improving the game. They shared detailed plans for the future updates, expansions and free DLCs, providing players with a glimpse of what the future held. Beyond technical fixes, CD Projekt Red also focused on expanding the world of Cyberpunk. They released free DLCs that introduced new quests, items and customization options, enhancing the game's overall depth and replayability. These additions breathed new life into the Night City and gave players more reasons to revisit the game. The community played an instrumental role in this redemption story. Modders and fans provided invaluable support, creating unofficial patches and fixes to alleviate some of the game's issues. This collaborative effort not only showcased the passion of Cyberpunk's fanbase, but also highlighted the potential of a community-driven gaming. Fast forward to September 2023, it seems like the Cyberpunk saga is coming to an end with two final major releases. The 2.0 patch which came out September 21st and overhauls many of the game's core mechanics and Phantom Liberty, an expansion starring Idris Elba that's out on September 26th. The 2.0 patch overhauls many of the game's core mechanics, including the menus, loot system, skill system and the police system. One of the biggest changes is the revamped skill system. In the original game, the skill system was fairly linear, with players unlocking new skills and abilities as they leveled up. However, the new skill system is much more flexible, allowing players to specialize in certain areas and create more distinct playstyles. For example, players can now choose to focus on stealth, hacking or combat. There are also new skills that allow players to interact with the world in new ways, such as the ability to hack into vehicles or control enemy mines. The loot system has also been overhauled in the patch 2.0. In the original game, loot was often random and underwhelming. However, the new loot system is more targeted, with players more likely to find loot that is relevant to their build. For example, players who are focusing on stealth will be more likely to find loot that improves their stealth abilities, such as silenced weapons or camouflage clothing. The AI in the 2.0 patch has also been improved. In the original game, the AI was often criticized for being mindless and unresponsive. However, in the new patch, the AI is more intelligent and reactive. NPCs will now react more realistically to the player's actions, and enemies will be more challenging to defeat. The police system has also been revamped in the 2.0 patch. In the original game, the police would often materialize out of thin air and spawn in front of the player when they committed a crime. However, in the new patch, the police are more realistic and responsive. Now the police will take time to arrive at the scene of the crime, and they will scale their response based on the severity of the crime. For example, if the player commits a petty crime, the police may only send a few officers to investigate. However, if a player commits a serious crime such as murder, the police will send a SWAT team. The Phantom Liberty expansion adds a new area to Cyberpunk's Night City, as well as a new heist story in which you team up with the president and the government spooks. 
The expansion has been praised for its well-written story, new characters and challenging gameplay. The new story is said to be more focused and personal than the main story of Cyberpunk, and it will explore new themes such as loyalty, betrayal and the nature of power. The expansion also introduces a number of new gameplay mechanics. You have access to a variety of new weapons, including a new sniper rifle, a new assault rifle and a new shotgun. You are able to install new cybernetic augmentations that give you new abilities, such as the ability to hack into enemies' minds and the ability to slow down time. You are able to drive new vehicles, such as new sports car and a new armored vehicle. Phantom Liberty features a new stealth system that allows you to take down enemies without being seen. The expansion also takes advantage of the latest hardware and software to deliver the best possible graphics and performance. The game features a number of graphical improvements, such as new lightning effects, new textures and new character models. The game also features a number of performance improvements, such as reduced loading times and improved frame rates. Overall, the 2.0 patch and Phantom Liberty expansion have made Cyberpunk 2077 a much better game. The patch overhauls many of the game's core mechanics, while the expansion adds a new and exciting story to experience. If you are like myself that didn't get to properly experience the original Cyberpunk, then now is the perfect time to try the game and experience something that very few games and developers have managed to achieve after initial disaster.